love that you have all this stuff because, like, this way you can watch, you know? <laughs> now I'm hurt. Come on, I go through all the trouble to set this up and you don't even want to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Hey y'all, welcome back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight, we got a special request. Special. Special. Special request. From Granddaddy Marcus. That's right, Granddaddy Marcus with another contribution to the family. And for that, we are going to be watching Hard Candy. Yep. Sounds dangerous. Tell me about it. Here's what he has to say about Hard Candy. Since he's done scary movies the last couple of times, Blair Witch, Triangle, The Others last month. Oh, yeah. He said, since she's still exhausted from The Others... It's time for a breather. How about a nice romantic love story? Do I send sarcasm? So what movie would fit that description? Let's see. How about the 2005 relationship study, Hard Candy by director David Slade? Perfect for a nice, quiet evening for the two of you without excitement or surprises. Did we pick the wrong night to watch this one? <laughs> I've never seen it. I sense nothing but sarcasm in that. Huh? <laughs> oh, great. I've never seen it, so I can't tell you what it's what we're in for. So a first time watching for both of us. But uh, Patrick Wilson's in it. So we've seen a lot of movies from him. Uh, Watchmen. Like Patrick Wilson, yeah. The Conjurings. And Elliot Page is in it. Okay. Should be a good one. Some good actors in it. Yeah. Should we jump in and find out just how surprising and relaxing this might be? I suppose we should, yeah. yeah. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the family. If you want to be like Marcus and request a movie, check out our Patreon link down below. we got early access, full-length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, and more links down below. Check it out. Let's watch Hard Candy. This is scores trying to put me to sleep. Makes me want to have a Jolly Rancher. Why? Hard Candy. There's nothing jolly about it. It's square like a Jolly Rancher. Jolly Ranchers are rectangle. The single wrapped ones, but if you get a pack of them, they're square. The assorted flavor packs are just squares on their squares. Like a lifesaver roll? Yeah, but Jolly Rancher. Didn't know they make that. Should be finally a baby. Not a baby. Thong girl? Is this like catfishing something? Oh, and spicy. Tonight on To Catch a Predator. Yeah. I want more. <laughs> Don't get greedy. Jeff? Haley. Sorry, I was be like so sophisticated when we met. Do you, do you want some? <laughs> sure. Oh. <laughs> mm. yeah. um, Not good. Can I get two of those truffles and um He's just so cute. Oh, what's a Ganache? Ooh, I hate that I'm gonna be creeped out the whole time that like he's trying to get with this little girl. I can really decide. I'm reading this book about Gene Seberg. Oh, that's she's where this is going already. People and end up killing herself. <laughs> well, don't you do that. No, he wants to kill you. Plus... They wouldn't hit on a 14-year-old girl. They're, like, old enough to be my dad, so. So is he. Mm-hmm. Awkward. I get it. I just thought, you know, well, you you look older than you are. You, you certainly act older that. than you are. Really? Yeah, I was uh, expecting someone not as impressive. God, he's so cute. What? Patrick Wilson, he's so cute. I, oh. I guess I can let you do that. You do have to model it for me, though. Conditions. I can't live with all these conditions. Good things are worth the wait. Oh. Oh, and what have you waited for recently? Well, I'm going to have to wait four years for you. Okay, now don't peek. <laughs> <laughs> they shoot models for a living. I've seen it all before. And you're so sure about that? Uh, I'm thinking, yeah. He doesn't shoot models. He just creepily takes pictures from... His car. <laughs> he thinks so. <laughs> I don't know. 
this Matrona for you? Oh, jeez. Okay. You keep teasing me like that, you're gonna drive me crazy. Four, four out of five doctors agree that I am actually insane. I have to come over in order to be true to myself. She's clinically diagnosed as insane. Her online persona is Thong Girl 14. <laughs> Pretty insane. Maybe she's just really into Cisco. <laughs> God, he's so creepy. Ugh, gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> Where's he taking her? I don't know. To his house. Where he's gonna lock her in the basement or something. What's wrong? They teach us young things not to drink anything we haven't mixed ourselves, so. Just come back in the kitchen, I'll pour it again. No. Come on. I can make up something more entertaining than that. He looks to be doing all right for himself. Maybe he is a model photographer. Yeah, to, takes pictures of weird shit. Oh, isn't that one of those um, cameras that gives you the like square image? Okay. A Polaroid? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall behind. We should toast. You're 14. Okay, I'll have another <laughs> screwdriver and then maybe, maybe I'll tell you. I'm waiting. Another? Hold on. Hey, you are not keeping up. You're wondering how many of these models I've done it with? No. How many? None of them. Oh, get out. No, they're underage mostly. Be arrested. So, you're not arrested for photographing them like this? No, uh, there's just one that I slept with. When we were both younger. What, was she like the first big girlfriend or something? That's right. Learned everything I knew practicing on her. What's that mean? I don't know. This whole movie is giving me like, whoa, weird feelings. You're scared crawling? Yeah. Right? Yeah, and most people only open up from weakness. Nobody wants to see photos of weakness. He looks like he's thinning a little on the top in this. He must have had like hair plugs or something. Yeah. Come on, Jeff. Oh, geez. She's just, like drunk now. Let's be over. Aren't you just listening to me? Come on, Jim. Did she drug him? Look at me honest. Don't you listen to me? Just sit down. Jeff, I don't Sit down. I don't, I don't. Sit down! Are you okay? I don't feel so good. Did she drug him? I don't know. What the hell? That's a yes. She drugged him? She did say she was insane. <laughs> what did you... What did you, you remember what I said about not drinking anything? You didn't mix yourself? That's good advice for everyone. <laughs> didn't see this one coming. <laughs> <laughs> didn't come with directions, and it's not like I could just ask him how much to use. So, I probably used too much, or those screwdrivers could have affected my judgment, do you think? What is she gonna do with them? I don't know. Is this her way of being like, uh, you're a creeper for hitting on 14-year-old girls? She doesn't seem like she's like... She just seems insane. Why do I get tied up first if, if this is how we're gonna play? Jeff, playtime is over. Now it's time to wake up. Oh yeah, she's gonna try and teach him a lesson, huh? That was a quick shift in... Is this some... teenage joke? Teenage? Yes. She's like a f vigilante or something? Anything in here I should know about? She is. She's trying to... be her own little detective. I could let you scream your f***ing brains out and no one is gonna hear you. Yeah, I waited till today. 
because Mr. Coughlin is at work and the Carrascos, well, they're vacationing in Santa Barbara. Screaming, so shut up! Or next time, it's gonna be bleach, okay? Yeah, I went into other chat rooms with different nicknames. And you would get to know each woman. She's, she's been long con him. Am I the first guy to do something stupid to impress a girl? Does that deserve being tied up and tortured? Maybe a 14 year old girl. Is this torture to you? This is nothing. Look, I'm a decent guy. Ask anyone. Mm. Go ahead. I beg to differ. <laughs> Your play. You were coming on to me. Oh, come on. That's what they always say, Jeff. Who? Who? The pedophiles. She was so sexy, she was asking for it. If, if a kid is experimenting and, and says something flirtatious, you ignore it. You don't encourage it. You take the alcohol away and you don't race them to the next drink. Look, look. I, I've been lonely, okay? And that makes me stupid, but I'm not a pedophile. Okay, well, look, this is some I horrible mistake. Lonely, Just untie me now. We'll forget stupid. this whole thing. Just untie me now! Just untie me now! I'd be a little peeved. So when I am ready to go, I'll call a cab and call another one to let you loose. And when will that be? I'm not sure yet. I've done shots of the Yukon Territory, uh, um, the Inuit villages in Alaska. You love nature, thus you must be a nice guy. <laughs> it's part of my portfolio. I've shot a lot of different subjects, some of it very important work. And yet only the girls are on your walls. You thought, well... I can't possibly hang it on the walls of my home. Yeah. <laughs> now you walk into somebody's house, you start looking through the shit, you're gonna find things that embarrass them. For you, it's your Pokemon cards. Everybody's got Pokemon cards. So what, you find her? The girl you wanted? Is this what all your work is? Just some kind of big search? I feel like she thinks he did something, like maybe to her friend? Yeah, or something. Like that missing girl that was on the coffee house? Right. I have not found a single bit of porn. And I mean, guys tend to have porn around, don't they? I mean, it, nothing against it, nothing against them. It's just the way they're brought up. But seriously, if all guys, they have porn at least somewhere in their crib. You've done studies on this, of course. <laughs> I bet whatever you have is so juicy. It needs its own little cubby hole. Isn't that right, Jeff? She's on to something. What'd she find? Gun? His slide deck. Bunch of blood slides, is that what you're thinking? <laughs> uh oh. So what's the combination, Jeff? Look, I'm gonna figure it out, so you might as well just tell me. She's gonna crack a safe. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Seriously, just shut up. You know nothing about me. No, you're right. So, no, we can sit on the sofa, and I'll, I'll call a taxi for you. If you want, I'll hold you. If you don't want, I'll keep my distance. Don't fall for it. If you need to cry, if you need to scream, whatever you need, Haley. He will kill you. <laughs> did you did you seriously think that that was gonna work <laughs> she's playing him what's this jeff you are lens man 319 after all was this the first photo session or the first time you banged her was that the same thing hmm. what year would have that have been 31989 <laughs> oh. <gasps> how sentimental you are I didn't take long. Stuff. This is officially sick. What makes this girl so special? Is that the one on the the missing poster? Yeah.
break your pelvis. Probably some ribs. He's still alive, right? Yeah, he just passed out. Welcome back. So he doesn't feel it when she chops his nut. No chops his thing off. It's not about sex, although I have to admit, you are built. Oh boy. <laughs> Look, I'm not the monster you think I am. Mm. You move into a new house. How bad is that, really? It'll ruin my career. It'll ruin my life. Come on, didn't Roman Polanski just win an Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she wearing scrubs? Because she's going to chop off his dick. Yeah. Don't you think? From surgery. Said he's uh, a loner. Thinks he's pretty damn bright, powerful as a teenage girl. It's going to strike again. Oh, kind of sounds a lot like you. It's not me. Hmm. Might be. I have to shave you down here. Can't have any hair on the incision side. Right? What? Well, I've been going to my dad's medical library at school, and um, well, you said I was pretty bright, right? <laughs> I think I'm smart enough to perform a successful castration. No, no! Please! No! Ow! Okay, okay, I guess you're not numb enough yet. What should we talk about when we're waiting, hmm? I don't think ice is gonna numb you enough for that. You know, castration would... Oh boy. <laughs> is this insane? Am I insane? You're insane, but I like it. <laughs> Tried to make it sound as innocent and moronic as possible. How do you think I did? <laughs> you want to remember this day when you were the guy? On a date? On your wedding night? Because I promise you, you will. You know, that is so thoughtful. You are speaking to me so selflessly. I mean, you just don't want me to castrate you for my own benefit? Wow, I'm touched. Did she send that email? No. I don't think so. You are good and numb, aren't you? F off. <laughs> Help! Help! <coughs> well, that wasn't necessary. That was a bleach. Was I born a cute, vindictive little bitch, or does society make me that way? I go back and forth on that. Don't we all? <laughs> you take the camera equipment. Take whatever you want. Look, I am. You, you really can't talk me out of this by bribing me. I mean, okay? what do you need your balls for, anyways? Really? You know what? I need to sterilize this before we start. Okay. <laughs> Little mix. <laughs> the blood probably rushed back in. Look, I, I have to numb you out a bit more, okay? Also, not numbing the balls from the top. Like, <laughs> put them underneath, right? Yeah, that can't be numbing too much. Yeah. Why is she walking on the roof? Oh, there's Sandra O. Oh. I was wondering how the other cast members were going to be featured, because this seemed like a one-setting movie. Good call keeping the socks on. He can't pick up anything with his toes if he's got socks on, you know? Can I call someone for you? Is that what you... <laughs> Why don't you just kill me? Is that what you think I want? Isn't it? Close. No, no, she wants you to suffer for the, the shit that you've done. Does she make a kill room? Or a castration room, rather? I love that you have all this stuff, because, like, this way you can watch, you know? <laughs> Hurt. Come on, I go through all the trouble to set this up and you don't even want to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Okay, well, you know, we're set. Don't. I told you not to use that word. Okay? You can call the cops. I'll say I did whatever you want. I don't think they're going to believe a confession under these circumstances. <laughs> Think there's a way out of this? Oh no. I 
got this medical text, and look, if I forget anything, just don't panic, okay? Please, I, I really need to have a steady, steady hand, okay? I'm gonna give him a belt to bite on or something. Yeah, I don't know how numb he could possibly be from an ice pack resting on his crotch. Only the skin's numb. There is nothing else numb. <laughs> yeah, like you need to put like anesthetic in that thing with a shot. I'd be thankful for small favors. That's it. Okay, um, what should I do first? Your right or left testicle? <laughs> Why don't we just say right? Okay. Alright, now I just have to give it one little slice to free it up. And then, um... <sighs> yeah. Okay, now I just need to switch her up. Oh, okay, so, boy. You know, I, I asked my friend if... She'd help me castrate a guy, and well, <laughs> she made all these things. Yeah, we'll see who uh, makes medical school in eight years, huh? <laughs> okay, halfway through, over the hump. Can't you stop? Come on, Please. Jeff. Some men, they go through their whole lives with only one ball. <laughs> so I've read, and, well, I guess I figured... Well, if, if, if I left one, then you'd be walking around crooked all the time, so... It's like going into shock. An anxiety attack or something. This seriously has to be like one of the easiest operations because. <laughs> I mean, I wonder why they teach Girl Scouts things like camping and selling cookies. You know, because this is what's really useful. Yeah, we should tell, teach all Girl Scouts how to castrate somebody. Yeah. Oh, Denise was here right now. What would you say? <laughs> I'd say help. Teenager cut my balls off. Call the police. Technically, your your ball sack's still there. It's just missing the just, just an empty sack. The innards could have been so much worse if you think about it. <laughs> you really don't need those for much. She could have just chopped them the bobbed right it. off. Bobbed it off. Yep. I'd say in like eight or nine days, take the stitches out, which I suggest you do yourself to save embarrassment. <laughs> There's this website, um, unixquestions.com. Unix is E-U-N-U-C-H-S. I had a lot of trouble with that, but it gives great advice on how to deal with your castration. Uh, you really... What should we do with them? We could see how far they bounce. <laughs> huh? Jesus. Coyote might get sick, and we don't want that, especially with you being such a conservationist. Back in. I had this shop teacher once who uh, sawed off his thumb in class. The next day, sure enough, he has his thumb. Didn't bend so well, but, you know, he could, like, hitchhike and stuff. Oh. oh, that's more painful sounding than the surgery. You're not laughing, are you? No, no wonder this isn't a laughing matter at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing a little. <laughs> no more sex. No more taking public showers. Could absolutely have sex with no balls, right? I think so. Why would you not be able to? You don't need the balls to have sex. I think that's where all the testosterone comes from, though. Hmm. In the comments. <laughs> <laughs> For all you eunuchs out there, let us know. Do you need the balls to effectively have sex? Because I know a vasectomy doesn't ruin anything, but that doesn't remove the balls. That just, just snip snaps the, 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 the pipe. Tube, the tubes. I gotta go have a shower, and then when I come back later, maybe we can chat some more. Just gonna leave him tied to the table. I feel like I'd be in a rush to be on my way out of there. If I were her. Why are you trying to stick around and shower in his house? That's weird. <sighs> Ouch. Oh, yeah. 
here. She didn't do it? He's saying he's all there, right? Yeah. She faked it? She faked it. What'd she blend? It's in the garbage disposal. Bull's testicles or something? What is she gonna do? Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> yes, this is Lieutenant Haley, LAPD. You're acquainted with a photographer, one Jeffrey Culver. It's a very delicate matter, and the sooner we can speak with you here, the better chance we have at keeping it out of the newspapers. No. How soon do you think you can be here? What is the game plan here? <laughs> what is she doing? I just got him tied up again. Steady. Stand straight. You're insane. Which I did tell you when we first met, remember? <laughs> Four out of five Steady doctors agree. <laughs> oh, uh, so how's the roof? Sorry? You are on the roof? I was. Oh, just a little while ago, I was trimming my roses, and I looked up, and I saw you there. I was wondering who it was. Yeah, we, there's, um, we had a leak, and I said I'd go and see if there was, like, a hole or... Right. Did it rain? <laughs> um, I have to go back to my uncle. Oh, sure. No problem. Just, just... Tell him Judy Takuda said hello. Who'd she invite over? I don't know. Oops. Put him too close to the table. You didn't leave, did you? No. You don't want to leave me. Why the hell did she get on the roof? No idea. Thank you. Thank you. This is me. This is who I am. Thank you. Thank you for helping me see it. What's she doing on the roof? Why are you on the roof? Janelle? Must be. All part of her plan. You dropped this. Oh, I had to. Yeah. Or else you would have been down there forever. What yeah. were you doing? Jerk it off? Wish you weren't the knife. Uh -uh. Oh, you know how to use that, huh? Honor student, remember? Nothing I can't do when I put my mind to it. <laughs> Come on, shoot me. Show me! You're not gonna shoot me! It's not me you have to worry about. It's Janelle. I called her. The deal's still open. You put the noose around your neck, you end this whole game. I will still clean up all the evidence. You're running out of time. Or we can wait for her, and I will run into her arms. God, who are you? Your worst nightmare. I am every little girl you ever watched, touched, hurt. Screwed. Killed. Oh, geez. It's the only way, Jeff. What's he gonna do? I'll tell you his name. I hope you find him. I hope you find him. I know his name. I know his name. Aaron told me you did it before he killed himself. It was him. It wasn't me. I don't care. Don't worry. I promise I'll, I'll take care of it all.
or not. Yeah, I think she was going to anyways. What? I didn't think she was going to take care of anything of it. All right. That was an intense movie. So she made him think he, she cut his balls off and then made him kill himself. Yeah. She meant business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. She, she meant to f torture him. So him and the other guy did kill that, that girl? Yeah. Who do you think actually killed her? I don't think, think he did. I think they were both complicit in the act. Yeah. yeah. I know she did this to somebody else already. Yeah. She's intense. Yeah. I think it's interesting because she she did what everybody says they would like to do to if you know, like to a pedophile. When you know. Mm -hmm. If you knew, that's exactly what you would want to do to somebody. Mm -hmm. She did it. She did. <laughs> she, she tortured that guy mentally. Broke him and then made him take his own life. It definitely walks that fine line of, are you proud of her or are you disgusted by her or are you terrified of her? Like, it. I feel like this movie does a good job making you feel for both characters it's, throughout it, the whole. It's like, crazy, yeah, right? yeah. Even though you, you... I didn't really feel for him much. There was moments when you're wondering how bad is the guy and then... Obviously, at no, the end, I, you know how I he figured is, right? he was. Once they open the safe bad. and she yeah. says the pictures, right? But ugh. no, I pretty much knew from the very beginning. You thought he was him in from a the coffee beginning. shop with a fourteen-year-old oh, girl. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this guy's a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. There's no way he's just. You did stay at the beginning. Is this a, is somebody getting catfished? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got catfished and good. He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of Elliot Page's performance? Great job. He yeah? did a great job. Mm -hmm. And this was before Juno, it seems like. Yeah, let me look at. Maybe one of um, what his age one was. Of his earliest. This came out in 2005. Juno came out in 2007. Okay, so yeah, so this yeah. Is before. I am a huge fan of Juno, the movie. Mm -hmm. I think it's hilarious and amazing. And Elliot brings such an interesting humor to things, right? Super dry, mm -hmm. super sarcastic. And I love that. And this character had the exact same sort yeah. of dry personality. Just two years younger, really. Yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. sure if if the character is being serious and is just weird, or if they're being just a smartass yeah. the whole time. No, she was insane. Yeah, yeah. But with a purpose. Yep. Right. Yep, for sure. There were some oh moments. And <laughs> I bet for you. During that middle of that, just like oh god. <laughs> The, the blend, the, the garbage disposal was the most. Oh, was it the weird, the like, one that got you the jaw clenching most? moment? Oh, right? I mean, you wouldn't feel once it. Felt like, once he said he wouldn't, he wasn't really feeling any pain, which I didn't believe. It's just the whole the hearing the sound of yeah, your precious <laughs> precious jewels getting. It's not like you could feel it though. I know, but you can. It's like vicarious, vicariously feeling it, right? Oh yeah, sure. Just the thought of it, right? Ugh. And I had those cringe-worthy moments at the beginning when it was just he and she talking about him talking uncomfortably to, to a fourteen-year-old 14 girl. Yeah. Like it was just, it just I made my skin crawl. I couldn't couldn't hardly stand that. Hmm. Well, what do you have to say to Marcus for requesting this movie? Marcus, this is a this was a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> really. I think well done, though. I mean, a really well done movie. Mm -hmm. Great performances by both leads. Makes you so cringy, and yet... The colors, the contrast, like, it felt, it was gritty. It was gritty. And, like, there was lots of blues, right? Yeah, it was definitely you blue. feel the emotional... Blue, blue tone. Emotional, yeah. The, the emotions that blue makes you feel. Mm -hmm. right? Thank you, Marcus. Thank yeah. you for picking this movie, mm -hmm. and... Uh, and being our granddaddy, because all of these movies we would never even think to to watch. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, maybe the well Blair Witch and the others we probably would have got to, but potentially, yeah. But they were really, really, really far down on the list. Yeah. What should people comment on? Castration. <laughs> <laughs>
Does anyone know? Does anyone know if the if you're castrated, if you're able to perform after right. that? It doesn't matter for him because he's hanging now. But right. But in general, now I'm just intrigued to know. I'm just trying to think from uh, varies from uh, Game of Thrones was eunuch and he had no urges. So yeah, I don't know. So that's yeah. a a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. <laughs> Is that too weird? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, anything else? No, because I think it's pretty obvious that, I mean, everybody wanted yeah. this. Let us know your thoughts on hard candy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let us know. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. That was a weird one. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next, or make requests like Marcus. Check it out the links down below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.